share a little of the the double standard I think people now get. You can't look away from. But what is your reaction as a Palestinian American, but as someone born in the Middle East and have been an activist writing about and talking about the issue of Palestinians for, for decades now? Uh, I'm not uh, one who wants to say what about Palestine, because for far too often, we Palestinians have heard, uh, as we have advocated for uh, freedom and equality for Palestinians living under Israeli rule, uh, well, why should we hold Israel accountable? What about China? What about Iran? What about Russia? What about this? Right. What about that? And it's funny, nobody seems to be asking what about China right now as the international <laughs> community is engaged in this sort of massive onslaught of sanctions against the, against the Russian government, right? And, and, and they shouldn't be. But too often the sort of uh, what about this, what about that is used to distract. And this is not what I am asking for. Sure. I think what I and so many others are saying in this moment is not what about Palestine, but why not also Palestine? Why not also Yemen? right? Uh, we should have a standard and it should be the same across the board. You know, I'm not saying, you know, uh, you know, you shouldn't hold Russia accountable because you're not holding Israel accountable. I'm saying, no, you should hold violators of international law accountable. You should hold human rights abusers accountable, regardless of whether the perpetrators are our friends or our adversaries, you know, ar around the globe. If, if those things matter, Right. If we really care about the things that our, you know, our elected officials and our presidents and secretaries of states like to say, the, the norms, the international laws, the principles, if those words mean anything, they have to mean anything across the board. And uh, the point that I was trying to make is that um, when it comes to Palestinians in particular, and not only Palestinians, but especially Palestinians, there's an exception to these rules. There's an exception to the principles and the norms. The laws don't seem to matter anymore. Um, and, and sadly, it's because our government is, is actively complicit in these abuses.